exciting day for me, and a very historic one at that. And the reason is, 9th November happens to be the birthday of one of my favorite patients. And so what's special about that? Today, literally today, he's celebrating his 100th birthday. I've been in the practice of diabetes for almost 50 years now, and he is my first patient to have actually crossed 100 years of age. So some of you may think that probably he got diabetes when he was 99, and he's just lived for a year with diabetes. Wrong. He has been living with diabetes successfully for over 60 years. When we were students, we were taught that for every year of diabetes, you have to add one year to your chronological age. And therefore, if he's 100 and he has had diabetes for 60 years, it literally means that his arteries and his blood vessels are 160 years old. This must be a record of sorts. But to me, more than that, it's very heartening because I now know that a patient with diabetes can live his or her full life despite diabetes without any complication. This gentleman does not have any complication of diabetes. You may say, well, one swallow doesn't make a summer, and what if just one patient did it? I've just published a series of 325 patients, I believe this is the first report in the world, of patients with type 2 diabetes who have crossed 90 years of age and have lived at least 25 years with no diabetes-related complications, but they've had diabetes for 25 years. So it's becoming a reality that people with diabetes can probably not only live as long as their non-diabetic counterparts, but also live much longer. Now, if you look at the big picture of India today, we are close to 80 million people today with diabetes in India. And what's more worrying is that an equal number, 80 million or more, have pre-diabetes or the stage before diabetes. So I believe that this gives us a golden opportunity to intervene because we all know that at the stage of pre-diabetes, all that is needed is lifestyle modification. I was therefore extremely happy to see that our Prime Minister and the Government of India has announced what is called as the Fit India Movement. I think this is one of the most significant health movements ever launched in this country, and I wish to congratulate our Honorable Prime Minister and the Government of India for taking up this initiative. In keeping with this, in this year's World Diabetes Day, we are promoting Fit India as the mantra to prevent diabetes. If people can cut down their carbohydrates and increase their physical activity, diabetes can be prevented. It's as simple as that. But how do you get people to increase their physical activity? This must start right from schools and then go on to colleges where we encourage children to take part in physical activity. In towns and villages, as well as in the big cities, we must make it conducive for people to have enough exercise. We must make more trees, we must grow more trees, and we must make the, the, environment, the built environment conducive enough for people to exercise. If this is done, the diabetes epidemic in India, which is now rising like this, can, be, can plateau off and then can actually come down. But what about the 80 million people who already have diabetes? I think it's our bounden duty to see that every person with diabetes has access to the best health care so that he or she can become like this role model patient that I talked about in the beginning and all can live their full span of life. It's pretty simple actually. You don't need very high funda equipment or medication to do this. Simple discipline, lifestyle modification, and basic drugs if they are given to people and a, a routine of follow-up so that people need to be followed up. We have shown in our studies that those who come regularly for follow-up, they are able to live without any complications. If they fall out and they don't come for one year, two years, then clinical inertia sets in and that paves the way for the complications. I talked about the success story. I can also share with you many sad stories of youngsters developing diabetes when they're 20 years old, and by the time they're 40 or 45, they already had a heart attack or a stroke or have lost their limbs or become blind or went into renal failure 
and needed dialysis or transplantation, both of which they cannot afford. So we see both ends of the spectrum, and it's my wish as a diabetologist who has been in practice for a very long time now that everyone with diabetes should be able to live their full span of life without any complications. The, all the solutions are there. We all have to get together, the government, the non-governmental non organizations, associations like the Research Society of Study of Diabetes, RSSDI, and all diabetologists, endocrinologists, and physicians. If we get our act together, if we all collaborate with each other, then this dream of making the person with diabetes live a long and healthy life can definitely become a reality. And my very best wishes and all my support to the government and to all other organizations who are involved in this effort. Thank you. Insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com.